you use generic sewing patterns you might find that they won't fit you they just won't be your size and there's a reason why these patterns don't fit you and it's as simple as every single body shape is different now you've probably heard it before and you'll definitely hear it again in the future I will probably say it quite a lot but your different body sizes won't fit standard patterns on the back of patterns you'll get the different sizes so you'll get maybe from 6 to 16 or you might even get something like 14 to 22 depending on um, the pattern itself uh, and they'll also have like the, the sizes for the bust, waist, hips and sometimes you know the length as well so neck to waist or something like that so say you really like the style of a pattern and you want to make it so what can you do to make these patterns fit you? first things first, number one you can do is just hope and pray that it does actually fit you Number two, you can adjust the pattern. Or number three, you can make your own pattern using the style of that particular pattern. So we're going to leave number one because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You might find that the sizes on the back for the bust, hips, waist, etc. will actually fit you and it might fit you like a glove. Might not. Uh, but number two, adjusting the pattern, you'll need to make the pattern first. Find out what parts fit you. Maybe mix the pattern pieces up. So, for example, if you're a size 10 on the top and a size 8 on the bottom, then use size 10 for the top, adjust it slightly so that it fits size 8 on the bottom, vice versa, or make everything up in a larger size and then adjust it down to make it fit you. Some patterns will be a bit more tricky, other patterns you might find are quite easy. So, for example, a pencil skirt might be a lot easier to adjust than, say, a wrap top or something with a fancy detail on top. Number three, making a pattern in that style. Probably a bit more of an advanced option. Um, I can't say I've ever done it, but it's something that you could do if you are very confident with sewing. So for example, you uh, see, a, see a top or something and you like the shoulder detail or the waist detail. If you're confident in making your own patterns or drafting your own patterns, you could take that element, not saying it's copying, I'm just saying inspiration, and then uh, make that into a pattern that you can make in a similar style. Of course, like I said, some things will be a lot easier to adjust than other patterns. If you're using a woven fabric that has no stretch in it, or a pattern that needs no stretch, then you are going to want a really good fit, and of course you can create this with adjusting a pattern. If you're using a knitted fabric or something with stretch in it, it's a little bit more forgiving. So if you think about tops that are supposed to be figure hugging, um, generally, you know, or t-shirts, they'd be made from a jersey material or they'd be made from a knit or stretch material and they are going to form themselves to your body. So definitely more forgiving than say a woven fabric. Um, so yeah, if you want to make something nice and easy that's just going to fit, fit nicely, check out those pattern sizes. Maybe try it in a not so expensive jersey fabric, see if it fits. And if it does need adjusting, you might find that something might be, might be a bit baggy or a bit loose, so that I need taken in. Um, but jersey fabrics or stretch patterns, probably a little bit easier to wear in the generic pattern sizes than a pattern that is made with no stretch. Of course, vintage patterns like these ones differ so much from modern day patterns like this one. I've made vintage patterns before, this for example is a vintage pattern, I find that whilst it's really comfortable to wear it does not fit me, um, but it's quite forgiving because it's a wrap top so I can just tighten it around the waist, um, but ideally what I should have done is reduce this down a couple of sizes because it's quite um, big in areas and less so in others. You'll find like if it's a 1950s pattern, that sort of vintage retro style, it's a bit more exaggerated around the waist than say um, modern day so these patterns are made really well they were made to fit that shape nowadays we're a bit more relaxed we're more comfortable waist size is more relaxed so it doesn't have the same silhouette as the 1950s pattern unless you're going down the route of the whole sort of proper figure where you're going to get the corsets and yeah so vintage patterns you will more than likely need to adjust um, and you might find that the waist size is a lot smaller than what you think. You might have to go up a couple of sizes and then reduce it down 
um, which I always think is a good option anyway, you know, if, if you're unsure about the size, say, you know, you've, you've tried your measurements and you think it fits this one, maybe go up one or two and then you can reduce it down to your size and then you can put these adjustments back onto your pattern or a new pattern. But if you are super worried about fit and you are unsure about proper fitted garments, then go with a looser garment. Go with a garment that isn't fitted to the body, it's much more relaxed because what you can always do if it is a little bit baggy, take it in or put a belt on it and that's a simple way of just make, making a semi-fitted garment. So thanks for watching, I hope that will help you with finding the correct size or changing generic pattern sizes to fit you. Um, there's a lot more we can go into with adjusting patterns um, which I might do in a later video and um, because it is quite a, a large topic um so yeah thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time